In this video, I am going to speak about Web Driver Manager. Web Driver Manager is an API that allows us to skip downloading the driver, such as Chrome Driver, Edge Driver, and Gecko Driver. For example, you know how we can go to ChangeLog for the driver, and we download the driver depending on our browser version. We can bypass downloading the driver and bypass writing system.set property. If you're new to my YouTube videos, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell icon. You can also follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn and Facebook. After this video, I am going to release the code and create a transcript and place them on GitHub. Let's go to Maven's repository. Search for Web Driver Manager. Select Web Driver Manager, and we see different versions. Version 4.2 is the most recent version, and it has a dependency. Copy the dependency and go to the palm.xml file. Paste the dependency, and we enter Control Shift F to format the file. Also, save the file. Now, let's write our test script web driver manager dot and we see different drivers let's select chrome driver then set up the driver here's how the process of web driver manager works first it checks the browser version installed on our machine then it checks the driver version if the driver version is unknown, it will use the most recent driver version. Selenium Web Driver still requires a driver in order to use Firefox, Chrome, or any other browser. It requires a driver because that's how Selenium controls the browser. Therefore, we write Web Driver Driver equals new. Chrome driver, then import the drivers. The driver will load LinkedIn by writing driver.get. The URL is https colon two forward slashes www.linkedin.com. Let's also print the page title because Selenium will execute so fast that we may not see the page load. Sys out driver.get title. That will verify that we actually loaded the page. Then we quit the driver. Driver.quit. Let's run. LinkedIn loaded and it closed. The console shows the page title, LinkedIn, log in or sign up. We can go to the home page of Boni Garcia, who is the creator of Web Driver Manager to see the dependencies and view some of his notes. We see Web Driver Manager is a library that allows us to automate the management of the drivers required by Selenium Web Driver. Here's the table of contents. Motivation shows the system.set property for each driver. It talks about how it's annoying to manually check for a new version of the driver. Web Driver Manager is automated. Have you ever experienced a situation where you execute your test scripts and they pass? Then the same test scripts start failing due to your browser? It's possible your browser updated automatically to the next version, which makes your browser and driver not compatible. The Web Driver Manager API verifies your browser version, then it uses the correct driver version. We can use Web Driver Manager in different ways, as a Java dependency, as a command line interface, as a server, as an agent, and as a container. 
the test script I executed use the Java dependency. We can also use Web Java Manager for Gradle. Now, you may work at a company that disables the browsers from updating automatically to the next version. Web Java Manager takes care of that scenario if we need our driver to remain at the same version. Let me show you by making this method one, then copying and pasting a new method. Change one to two, and we're going to replace this line by writing web driver manager dot Chrome driver, but we're going to go for the driver version. The driver version, let's say it's 2.34, we want it to remain at. Then we set up that driver. And let's run. Leave then load it and load it again. Okay, cool. So let's look at the results. We see both methods pass with the first method loading Chrome driver 85 and the second driver is Chrome driver 2.34 and we see the page title for both methods. That's it for Web Driver Manager and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Currently, we have two methods. One method is called execute with system dot set property. And the other method is execute without system dot set property. Let's start with execute with system dot set property and show you how our test script fails if we do not add system dot set property. Web driver, driver, equals new Firefox driver. Import both classes, web driver and Firefox driver using the shortcut keys, control shift O. Driver dot get loads a new web page. This is the benefit of adding Java doc and or source code. It gives us a description of the method. I created a video showing how to add javadoc and source code. We are going to load Google by writing https colon two forward slashes www.google.com. For now, I am going to only run the first method by selecting its name, then clicking run. We see our test script failed due to an illegal state exception. The path to the driver executable must be set by the webdriver.gecko.driver system property. The same exception happens for Chrome driver and Internet Explorer. Let me show you Chrome driver. I would change Firefox driver to Chrome driver. Then hit run. Illegal state exception. The only difference is Firefox must be set by webdriver.gecko driver and Chrome must be set by webdriver.chrome.driver. In layman terms, we need to set our system property 
by establishing a key and a value. The key is the name of the system property, while value is the path of the driver executable. We establish a key and its value using system.set property before writing web driver equals new Chrome driver. System.set property. We see the set property method receives two parameters, string key and string value. This means the key and the value will be a string, meaning there will be double quotes around the data. First, I will write the key. Web driver dot chrome dot driver. Next, I will add the value. Let's go to my downloads folder and open the drivers folder. Here we see three driver executables. We're going to copy the path of Chrome driver dot exe. A shortcut to copying the path is select shift key, right mouse click, then copy as path. Paste the path. Then add a backward slash in front or behind the other backward slash. Now let's run. We see Google search page loaded and our test script passed. I will go ahead and close the window by writing driver.close. Let me show you my preferred way of writing a Selenium test script without writing system.set property. Either way is okay. Write system.set property or not write system.set property. However, I like to bypass writing that statement every single time. Within the second method, I will write web driver driver equals new Chrome driver. Driver dot navigate dot two is another method that loads a new web page. This time we are going to load Amazon by writing HTTPS two forward slashes www.amzon.com driver.quit There is a difference between driver.close and driver.quit that I will talk about in a subsequent video. In a nutshell, both methods close the browser window. We go back to the driver's folder this time, I will copy the driver's folder. Go to system, select advanced system settings, click environment variables, navigate to path, click edit, click new, then paste the driver's folder. Path. That one path will take care of all driver executables. Why add the path to environment variables? We add the path to environment variables so the program 
can access the driver executables when running. That's how we bypass writing system.set property. Click OK, click OK, and click OK again. Now we must restart the system. The method will fail if we do not restart our system. Let me show you right quick. Failed. Execute without system.set property. I am getting ready to restart. Okay, I'm back. Now, let's run. Google search and Amazon loaded without a problem. Both methods pass. Execute without system.set property and execute with system.set property. My goal in this video was to show you how to execute your test scripts without writing system.set property. I created a reference document for you. The document is called How to Bypass System.set Property. If you're interested, go to tinyurl bypass system.set property. HTTPS colon forward slash T-I-N-Y-U-R-L dot com forward slash B-Y-P-A-S-S hyphen S-Y-S-T-E-M hyphen S-E-T-P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y and download the document. Thank you for watching How to Bypass System.set property. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.